Most companies work like this. There are a bunch of shareholders who own a company. Then there's the people who work for the company. You, your colleagues and Bert. You all work hard and your efforts result in profits for the shareholders, which makes shareholders very happy people. A cooperative works differently. So let's say there's you and Joe who work, then there's lots of other people who are working towards the same goal. In a cooperative, you all own the company equally and have an equal say in the company's running. You work together, voting on key decisions. If someone else, say Fred, wants to join, then he can. He also becomes a member and brings valuable skills to the team. The directors who manage all the day-to-day -day running of the company, but every year the directors stand for election, which means anyone can have a go at being director, even you. One of the great bits about a cooperative is that revenues are shared. They don't make rich shareholders, but invested and shared between its members fairly. A cooperative is basically a group of people who all share the same vision and are working towards a common goal. There are some overarching themes to everything a cooperative does. The Guru Science Communication Cooperative is a global organisation where members can come from anywhere. It's for science communicators, writers, designers, basically anyone who has a passion to do what Guru does. It's the world's first cooperative for science communicators. In a nutshell, what the Guru Science Cooperative does is to educate, inform and entertain a non-academic audience on topics relating to science. Doing this through the bi-monthly Guru magazine, the Guru website and social media streams, a weekly Ask a Guru initiative and making our presence known to the wider world. Also looking into repurposing the library of published articles for schools to form an online Guru Academy service. But because it's a cooperative, we can do whatever its members want to do. The requirements for being a member are that you regularly contribute in some capacity and attend webinar meetings, of which there will be at least five per year. We're proud to introduce to you the Guru Science Communication Cooperative.